Dargento has a number of things that make him stand out from the crowd. Everyone loves a Group 1 winning grey. His sire is the popular So You Think and he was an elite performer on the track. Now his first foals at Bowness Stud near Young in New South Wales are showing plenty of Dad's panache and a great chance of continuing the successful High Chaparral line in Australasia. It's a beautiful part of the world down there at Young in southwestern New South Wales. Tell me as a stud master what it's like when the first foals arrive by a new stallion such as Dargento. You always hope for the best and um, we're really excited about what we're seeing uh, on the ground. Uh, most of the foals have, have come out be, you know, as good as we could have hoped. They seem to be very independent foals, which is something I like to see. The fillies are, have got a little bit of spice about them and the coals are, the colts are, are relaxed and independent and um, they all seem to have good temperaments, great muscle, great legs. I don't think I've seen a, a bad-legged foal by him yet. They're very typical of the uh, Sadler's Wells High Chaparral line in that um, the bays and that that he's producing generally have a nice blaze and a couple of white socks and the, um, the ones that have thrown directly to him it seem to be almost black in colour and uh, a lot of them are going to turn grey. Dargento covered 152 mares last year, which is really impressive for a first season stallion anywhere. Only five other first season sires covered over 150 mares, so that's a great accolade for him. It is. He, you know, he had a very good following being, I don't know whether it was because of the, he was a grey or it was because of the way, the quality of the horse and the races that he, he raced in. You know, he only competed in the... Um, in the major group ones like the Epsom and the Doncaster and the Cox Plate and the Wink Stakes and he performed admirably. He won the group one guineas, uh, as you said, uh, at the Rose Hill guineas and um, he was just a lovely horse and he had a little bit of a cult following in Sydney. He was a syndicated horse owned by one of Denise Martin's Star Thoroughbred Syndicates and trained by Chris Waller and uh, Winx's rider Hugh Bowman rode him in most of his races and uh, he had a really good following and uh, we were absolutely delighted with the response that we got from breeders uh, to the stallion. Dargento himself, I mean, as you say, he's just such a wonderful looking grey. From a, a great reduced choice mare, full as, her dam by Ken Mare, so that's where all the grey com colour comes from. But he's from that great estate label Loving Cup family that just keeps throwing up stakes winners year in, year out. So he really has a great pedigree backing him up. The sire line just keeps producing, but when you put reduced on the uh, maternal sire line and that wonderful speed family behind him, it all comes together to be a perfect package. He just crosses so well with such a wide variety of, um, of brood mares. And so you think, I mean, he's having a standout season again, joint top with Snitzel for his stakes winners, uh, fifth in the overall sires list last year and selling million dollar yearlings and uh, a leading sire in a number of divisions. That's correct, yes, yes. We've seen um, over the longer distances and a lot of other wonderful staying horses but we also see horses like Pelzer win those uh, speed races he's getting them over all distances you know I think it's a wonderful testament to say you think as a sire when he can produce horses for all distances and um, and all occasions looking firstly at, at uh, some of these foals at Balness my word the first one we look at this colt tell me what you see in him and and, and what you're seeing that Dargento is putting into these foals well, I, I see an, a nice athletic horse. I think that's basically what I, what I see. He, he reminds me a, lo, a lot of the stallion in that he's just got so, wonderful movement, good temperament. He just looks like an athlete. You know, they, he just r comes out looking like what I had hoped him to look like. And the so resilient filly, so this is from an Exceed and Excel mare. And we know, of course, this sire line with Dane Hill is just pretty much world's best, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. We've, we've had a lot of success breeding on that cross with um, Young Star and Fun Star and a, a, a lot of horses we've bred on that Sadler's Wells Danehill cross. But the horse will actually ca carry a double cross of Danehill, which I know is, is not very fashionable. But when you push it back to that fourth and fifth generation and start breeding four by four and four by five, I actually like it. it. You see it coming to the fore in a lot of very good horses now. And I think it's it's more of a positive these days, coming through now as a positive rather than a negative. I love him with Exceed and Excel mares. He crosses well with, with most, most bloodlines. Another couple we looked at were one, the LKD. We bred her. She's from that wonderful family, the um, Tempestuous of Mike Willis's years ago. I just, just love the horse. She, she's just produced a, a, a wonderful looking filly. Um, Got a lot of charisma, lo lovely action, good muscle definition. She looks as though she's going to go quickly. Looks as though she's going to be early. Um, what we're seeing at the moment, we're very excited about. Lizadora Moore, she won eight races herself. She was a, a speed machine and she, she was out of a hidden dragon mare. It was from uh, a, a wonderful mare called Jet Nova. She's a, a good, good running type and I, th I expect uh, certainly when you're breeding to these uh, good running lines and mares that have have produced good runners or, or good runners themselves, you're always a chance. And the Tamaret Colt, well, the dam is by Sepoy, of course, the Golden Slipper winner. He was a super speedster himself, but that elusive quality sire line, we're really seeing that a lot on the dam side of some really good horses. We love elusive quality in a, in a pedigree, and uh, the reason I, we actually put that mare to D'Argento is to breed that elusive quality cross back to So You Think, duplicating this, a similar sort of a pattern to uh, Peltzer. We just think it's a wonderful, wonderfully successful formula and combination to get what we're looking for and we're absolutely delighted with the quality of that foal. There'll be plenty around anyway, so <laughs> I'm hoping that people will put their hand up for them because that's the name of the game, to get them into the hands of good people that, and good stables. There's horses there, mares there that will suit everybody, so we just really want to see them get out there and get, get running just like the, uh, the So You Thinks have done.